Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. Actually, this video is gonna be about this little guy, Easy VGA. It's a skin doubler slash flicker fixer. If you saw my uh, previous video, part one, you know what it has some issues. Uh, first of all, it runs kind of hot. Then uh, the color, the white color, is not present when you run it for first couple minutes or so. And basically, what I did, I mean, from previous time. I mean, I replace it, recap it all three, four caps, uh, refloat it every joint, make sure all all is nice and connected properly, no cracks, sol uh, solder, uh, solder joints, no broken traces. Actually, one last broken trace. Uh, when I was pulling out this capacitor, I found that the, I mean, the trace was not broke from capacitor. Right in the middle between the actually with the, where the uh, positive connector leads connects, and there's a the kind of it takes U turn, and right after U turn was broke. I'm not sure uh, how that's happened. I mean, maybe I busted when I replaced the capacitor, anyway, with the little wire. I, you guys can see it. I did find it where the trace go. I connected. And pretty much also I did edit for, I mean, I'm sorry, for to uh, custom made uh, cooling sink. The thing is, before you plug it in, you have to run it for like 2-3 minutes to warm up. And uh, then it will white color come back to normal. And uh, I tried also, instead putting a cooling sink, I tried to uh, put it, uh, I mean, I didn't mount it permanently, I just laid it on top. A little cooling fan of 40 millimeters but then i found that when the cooling fan cools down those two chips to room temperature the visual visual glitches what it did have before it come back pretty much the cooling fan will not work the way i i was planning and that's why i added two cooling sink it drops to uh, around 15 to 20 per 20 degree uh celsius down now it's running much uh I mean, much cooler. It's not as hot as before, because this guy, I believe, is in the mid 85, 80s, and this one like 65 or so. Uh, I mean, right now this guy runs uh, 60 plus, and this one it's 50 some, um, 40s, high 40s, low 50s, uh, which is kind of good. And also, I did add that uh, uh, RF shielding uh, the for bottom cap. I I use it. Uh, copper and that was my last piece I didn't find it more and for upper shell I use it aluminum also you probably did already recognize it I drill it some vents I mean make it uh, cooling vents to make sure the heat will disappear uh, when it's getting hot but now uh, after all those mods it's working much better I like it uh, the colors come back to normal right from the uh, moment you flip it switch interference still present I mean it's kinda looks like you still have to warm up for a couple minutes or so but let me plug it in and I will, sh will show you how, how it runs right now let me put the screws back Okay, let's flip it to switch. Right now we put into, uh, I mean, workbench. And like before, it was white. It was not true white, it was kind of grayish or so. Let me turn the lights off. You guys probably will see better. Now you see nice white color all around I mean it looks really really good and interference I mean right now like I said it's it's kind of I mean at first glance it doesn't look like it's there but then if you look it really really close I mean you, you will recognize it is there let me put again okay guys now pretty much uh, you can see how good uh, this scan doubler slash flicker fixer works with games I mean, it looks, the picture quality looks really, really good. Nice, sharp, clean image. And actually, 
Uh, the game runs, I believe they are what running uh, 320 by 200 or something. I mean, it's a nice clean image. You not really can see any statics. Uh, I'm not sure about how it's gonna turn on a, on a video. I mean, how my camera is gonna pick it up. But in real life, it looks really awesome. I mean, I'm quite happy with uh, performance and I'm pretty sure for 80 bucks or so. I doubt I will find it better skin doubler slash flicker fixture two in one for, for that price. Uh, already I got uh, some people ask me where I bought and uh, if, if there's any links. The thing is I pick it up on eBay, like I mentioned in my first video, and there's no really link because I bought, um, I mean, the one pops I, I, I just bought right away. Pretty much, if you if you want to purchase a similar item, you kind of still have to hunt it on uh, eBay, time to time, and see if you I mean how lucky you are. Uh, pretty much, like I mentioned before, it's a pretty good device. I do recommend it, especially for uh, if you have more than one uh, Amiga. That will works really really awesome. To be honest. On the one hand, I don't understand why uh, these days there's no company who made, uh, who making um, scan doubler slash flicker fixer two in one external, not internal. Internal, uh, so far I know there's a few companies made. I mean like uh, scan plus aga I got on my uh, Amiga twelve hundred, and you can pick it up that one currently. Then also in division you can pick it up. But they all internal, not external. This one I like because it's external, and I have more than one Amiga, which works really, really good. Well, guys, uh, that's it for for this video. I hope it was uh, uh, enjoyable, maybe in a, some way helpful. If you guys did enjoy, it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciate.